Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing a very special handmade British guitar by Granger. This is one of their Apollo models. And all that really means, as far as I can tell, is that it has a specific body shape and a specific headstock shape. But the woods used, the pickups used, the hardware used, the um, neck profile, the, the fingerboard, all these things can vary from one guitar to the next. So each one of these is really a unique instrument. And what's very striking about this guitar, as you can probably see, is the top. It's a hybrid burly buckeye with an aquamarine finish. And it is really stunning. I've never seen anything quite like it. This guitar was lent to me by Leo and Ted's. They're a guitar shop in Northampton. And they have quite a few British made guitars like this one or in the same league as this one. So you can go and check them out. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. Before I say anything more about this guitar, let's just have a quick listen to it. So in that piece I use the neck pickup, the bridge pickup, and both pickups combined, so all three positions of the selector switch here. What I didn't use were the coil taps, and it has one coil tap for each pickup, so you can get a really wide variety of tones. It's got a master volume and a master tone control. The pickups themselves are bare knuckle uh, boot camp true grip pickups, so they're high-end pickups, sort of medium output. The bridge is a hardtail bridge made by Granger, so they make their own bridges, which is pretty amazing. And that's actually the same bridge that Crimson use on some of their guitars, and I reviewed a Crimson guitar with a Granger bridge, same hardtail bridge as this one. Uh, I think it's a good quality, well-engineered bridge. Now, as for the woods, both the body and the neck are made of sapili, which is an African mahogany. As you can see, the body here has a very nice contour, and I really appreciate body contours in guitars, because if you sit for a long time or play for a long time, the guitar kind of digs into your ribs, and my ribs hurt after a while, you know, if I don't have this contour, so I very much appreciate that contour. And the neck 
profile here is a C shape, but it's not too slim. It's not, you know, it's not too thick. It's kind of very, and it kind of slims. It looks like it gets slimmer towards the bottom here. And it, yeah, it's just a very, very comfortable shape, at least for my, I know neck profiles are very subjective. You know, different people like different things. Goes without saying really, but for my hand, this neck profile is just perfect. You know, I, I, this is what I would choose if I were to spec my own guitar. The fingerboard is made of Zeracote, which I'd never heard of before, but it's a Mexican wood, rather like rosewood. And this one has, I'll try and capture this in a picture, but it has quite a beautiful swirl in it. The guitar has stainless steel frets, which is really great. It just makes bending so much smoother. And also they just don't wear down anywhere near as quickly as regular frets. For me, regular, you know, for some reason, maybe it's just the way I play or whatever, but I wear frets down, at least normal frets, I wear them down super quickly. And I have to get my guitars refretted maybe every three or four years, which is extremely inconvenient and expensive. Uh, so, Saying the steel frets, you know, for me, they just last forever. They, I haven't seen any wear on any of my guitars with stainless the steel frets at all. The guitar has a 12 inch radius, which is kind of flat. It's a modern standard, really great for lead playing. Uh, it has a graph tech nut, which is good for tuning stability. And it has open back locking tuners by Hipshot. Overall, it's a really well made guitar. It's lightweight, it plays beautifully, it looks stunning, and I highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Check me out on Instagram at RajaniAmps. Check me out online at RajaniAmps.com. And I hope to see you next time.